For cheap Minecraft hosting, be sure to go ahead and check out Clovex.net. What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video, I'm going to be telling you the best Cydia repos or sources for iOS 9 to 9.0.2. So this is in no particular order and getting straight into it, Ryan Petrich's repo. This developer has been working tirelessly for as long as I can remember to produce only and maintain stable jailbreak offerings such as Activator, but also pushing out experimental wares that utilise Apple's latest technology within iOS. There's literally tons of stuff hosted on Petrich's own personal repos, but it's also the place where you can find early betas of new Activator builds. iCleaner Pro Repo Ivano Belenci, author of the excellent iCleaner Pro Tweak for jailbroken devices, has two repos available for jailbreakers. The first repo contains stable software releases such as iCleaner and iCleaner Pro for iPhone, iPad and iPod Touch. The second repo is basically a home for what Belenci calls his bleeding edge software releases. Basically a repo for beta creations that may or may not be functional complete and bug free. Karen's Pineapple Repo Karen, or Angel X Wind, as she is more commonly known in the development community, owns and maintains her repos at host a seriously large array of excellent packages. There's also a secondary repo that contains web stack packages for the more advanced iOS user, as well as other useful system utilities, but it's unlikely the average user will need this. Karen's main repo excellent offerings such as AppSync Unified, Safari Saver, Preference Organizer 2, and ineffective power. 46 and 2 repo. This is probably one of the lesser known repo gems out there, but it's currently growing in popularity thanks to the release of packages such as an excellent haptical that mimics functionality of Apple's Taptic engine haptic feedback in iOS 6s on older devices. There's also a number of additional installations that will offer some joy. Hashbang Productions Repo. The Hashbang Productions repo is one of the better known repos, and for a good reason. There are literally tons and tons of excellent packages listed on this source. Packages such as Store Alert, Maps Opener, Daily Paper and Bright Vault are all confirmed to be working with iOS 9 devices. Now excuse me if I pronounce this wrong, but iMuckler's repo? This is one extremely simple. This particular repo contains the recently released reveal menu package that is designed to bring a 3D touch functionality to older hardware that isn't supported by Apple. That's a good enough reason to get it right there and it is added to the source. CP Digital Darkroom Repo There's a ton of really great packages offered on the source but it's also home to Medusa the new tweak that brings like picture in picture mode and split view to non-supported iPhones and iPad and shortcuts tweak which brings additional 3D touch quick actions menu to the first and third party apps. Philip Wong's repo. Philip Wong is fairly well known in the jailbreak game these days and rightly so. The developer was one of the first to release iOS 9 compatibility for his extremely popular speed intensifier package that speeds up the native animations in iOS and makes everything appear a lot nippier and quicker. Flux Official Repo Now I'm sure everyone knows about Flux, it is extremely well known for the being one of the best and the best installations around for those who want to improve their viewing experience on iOS devices. The official Flux Repo is the source to add to get this tweak, which is now available in beta for the iOS 9. The final one I have for you is Coolstar Repo. The Coolstar Repo is a phenomenal source but probably one that should only be used by advanced power users due to the nature of what it hosts. And in this source will provide access to advanced command line tools and other technical packages that go above and beyond the standard offering. And that is the best repos currently available on iOS 9, they're all working and there are some popular names there such as Flux. If there's any repos that you want to recommend, then be sure to leave it in the comments below because as well as it helping me, it will help everyone else as well. Thank you so much for watching, be sure to go follow me on Twitter, I'll keep you updated when I'm posting and what I'm posting. Also be sure to go and check out my gaming channel which I'm signed up pretty soon. And finally be sure to go and add me on Snapchat, which is you ought to do throughout my day. So yeah, it's been Casual Savage here, thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate and peace.